Hello everybody. I just wanted to share something that was on my mind this week. Um, a few months back, I was going through a very difficult season. I guess you could call it like a dark time in my life. And so I was meeting with my friend Joy and I was lamenting all of this to her when I shared with her that I was afraid I was losing my sparkle. And I don't know why I chose to word it that way. It was just the best way I could describe what I felt like was um, a concern that maybe I was losing my spirit or the light in my eyes. And um, without missing a beat, she says, Jackie, what makes something sparkle? And I said, hmm, well, the light, of course. And she said, exactly, the sun makes things sparkle. And when the sun's not out, when it's dark, that thing doesn't sparkle. And you're just going through a dark period right now. And so you feel that way. But when the sun comes back out, you will sparkle again. And I thought, wow, that was pretty profound, actually. And I was really like thinking on that as I went home and throughout the day. And then, sure enough, God brought a passage to me out of the blue that day. I mean, I knew it was him because of how timely it was. So listen to Psalm 13. It says, Oh Lord, how long will you forget me? Forever? How long will you look the other way? How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul? With sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat saying we have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. And I thought, wow, David understood this concern, this concern I had about losing the sparkle. And so for the next few weeks, I prayed what he said, restore the sparkle to my eyes, Lord. And Sure enough, little by little, I could feel my spirit coming back and I could feel that through the light that was being exhibited through the love of others. Like it was like Christ was working through others and shining his light on me and I could feel that sparkle return. And so I just thought, wow, that's, you know, I was feeling much better. But what really struck me was that yesterday I was with another friend who I had shared this concern with. And she said to me, you know, it's kind of interesting. I remember you saying that you were concerned that you were losing your sparkle. And she's like, and at the time you said that, I didn't know what you meant. You know, she just thought it seemed fine. She's like, but now that I see you, I can see what you meant. And you have definitely gotten your sparkle back and then some. And I just was like, wow, God was so faithful in answering that prayer. And um, I just wanted to encourage you, if you're going through something and you feel like perhaps you've lost your sparkle, God understands. David prayed the same thing. And so I would encourage you to pray, just like Psalm 13, that God would restore the sparkle to your eyes as well. And so today I am grateful that God sent people in my life to shine his light through, to return my sparkle, to restore, and to also rescue me. Um, it's amazing. God is so good, and he did it in such a short time, and I'm so grateful for that. So that's what I wanted to share, and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, sparkly day.